everybody, Ricky and handicapping thoroughbred racing for my own contract at the National Race Course in Granville, Pennsylvania. It's Friday evening, February the 18th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 this evening, folks. 6.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile 70 yard test on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, 4 years old, an up race for a claiming purse of $20,000. Contenders number 2, Idle Hour. Number 6, Round and Round. Number 1, My Wildest Dreams. And number 8, Dreamin' of Genie. Number 2, Idle Hour, qualifies as the Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. The overall speed and pace profile leader in his claiming field, racing at or about a mile 7 yards on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five, including a power run win in her fourth race back. Number six, round and round, a nine to two shot has hit the board in five straight with her last four efforts, including back to back circle trips in her fourth and fifth races back, also qualifying as power runs. Race five summary, number two, idle hour, tops my contenders list tonight, which also includes number six, round and round, number one, my wildest dreams, and number eight, dreaming of genie, two, six, one, eight in the fifth from Penn National. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Hawthorne near Chicago. First race three. Number six, East Coaster, six to one on the morning line. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Takes a class drop of six units. Nice speed for this eight and a half furlong route test. She's won 11 times in her career to date in route races on the dirt. Race five at Turf Paradise in Phoenix, Arizona. Number four, Celebrate Freedom, a 9-2 to two shot, drops in class by 7 units. Good overall speed for this 6 for a long sprint. So from Penn National on a Friday night, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it. <laughs>